in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Today is the feast day of St. George. Not a great deal is known of St. George, other than tradition has it um, that he was a soldier who was martyred for his Christian faith in a place called Lydda, which is now in Israel, in about the year 303, during the persecution of the Emperor Diocletian. The only thing that can be that is certain about George is that he was martyred. Um, the cult of George's martyrdom spread quickly throughout both the East and West. Sadly, however, the legend of um, St George slaying the dragon is but a legend and there is little evidence to support it. During the period of the Crusades, George was seen to personify the ideals of Christian chivalry and so he was adopted as the patron saint of a number of cities and countries, including, of course, England. And King Richard I of England placed his crusading army under the protection of St George. And subsequently, in the year 1222, his feast day was declared a national holiday. So today we offer this Mass in honour of St George and in prayer for England. Let us call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, you calm our fears and ease our anxieties. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you support us when we are weak and raise us up when we fall. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us a peace this world cannot give. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of hosts, who so kindled the fire of charity in the heart of St. George your martyr, that he bore witness to the risen Lord, both by his life and by his death. Grant us through his intercession, we pray, the same faith and power of love, that we who rejoice in his triumph may be led to share with him in the fullness of resurrection. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice shout from heaven. Victory and power and empire for ever have been won by our God and all authority for his Christ. Now that the persecutor who accused our brothers day and night before our God has been brought down. They have triumphed over him by the blood of the Lamb and by the witness of their martyrdom. Because even in the face of death they would not cling to life. Let the heavens rejoice, and all who live there. This is the word of the Lord. The response to the psalm, Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. The heathens themselves said, 
What marvels the Lord worked for them. What marvels the Lord worked for us. Indeed, we are glad. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. Alleluia, alleluia. Happy the man who stands firm, for he has proved himself and will win the crown of life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If the world hates you, Remember that it hated me before you. If you belonged to the world, the world would love you as its own. But because you do not belong to the world, because my choice withdrew you from the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words I said to you, A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you too. If they kept my word, they will keep yours as well. But it will be on my account that they will do this, because they do not know the one who sent me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Let us pray. As we honour the memory of Saint George, so let us give thanks to God for his steadfastness in faith and his preparedness to be martyred for that faith. And as we give thanks, for his strength. So let us ask that supported by his prayers we may have greater confidence in our faith and always be prepared to stand up and be counted for it. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so today let us pray for England for the people of England at this time of national challenge, for all those involved in local government, for the National Health Service in England, for all involved in health care at this time, and for all the key workers in so many different areas across that country. We pray too for the Christian Church in England today in all its different guises and we ask that the witness of Christ Church may be wholesome and good and that it may lead the people of England to see the truth of the resurrection. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And let us pray for those who need our prayers this morning, for any who have asked us to pray for them, any we have promised to pray for. Pray 
today, especially for those who are grieving the loss of a loved one today. And two, for those who are anxious in the face of job losses and income reduction. For those who will be hungry today. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick, especially for those suffering from coronavirus and in hospitals across the world today. pray too for those with many other conditions and especially all who are anxious about their ongoing treatment. Lord in your mercy hear our prayer. Let us pray for the souls of those who have departed this life. Today we're asked to pray for the soul of David Johnson, priest, who has died recently. And we pray for those who have died yesterday from COVID-19. for those whose anniversaries of death fall near this time. Rest eternal grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. And now let us join together in praying for the life and work of our parishes wherever we worship today. God our Father, through your Holy Spirit, you grow your church as we proclaim the kingdom of your risen Son. Bless us with deepening faith and an increase in our community. Help us to be a beacon of your love to everyone we meet. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Alleluia. Christ has been raised from the dead, and so may the peace of the risen Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this bread to set before you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness we have this wine to set before you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Let's pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, our sacrifice, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. Lord, accept this offering of praise and peace in memory of your martyr, George. May it bring us your forgiveness and inspire us to give you thanks now and forever. Grant this in the name of Jesus, the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through Jesus Christ our Lord. We praise you with greater joy than ever in this Easter season, when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. In him a new age has dawned, the long reign of sin is ended, a broken world has been renewed, and men and women are once again made whole. The joy of the resurrection renews the whole world, while the choirs of heaven sing for ever to your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take eat this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me in the same way after supper he took the cup and gave you thanks he gave it to them saying drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you this bread and this cup, and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people, and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup, so that we in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, St. Luke, St. James, St. George, and all the saints, may praise and glorify you for ever, through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we receive your gifts from heaven at this joyful feast. May we who proclaim at this holy table 
the death and resurrection of your Son, come to share his glory with all your holy martyrs. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Joy to thee, O Queen of Heaven. Alleluia. He whom thou wast meet to bear. Alleluia. As he promised, hath arisen. Alleluia. Pour for us to God thy prayer. Alleluia. Rejoice and be glad, O Virgin Mary. Alleluia. For the Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Let us pray. O God, who by the resurrection of thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, has brought joy to the whole world, grant that through his mother, the Virgin Mary, we may obtain the joys of life everlasting. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. 